It was an over-the-top response to the simple act of filming a police arrest. <laughs> 10 News cameraman Nick Tomei began filming on his mobile phone when he came across police struggling to arrest a man in King's Cross last night for allegedly hurling bottles onto the street. We witnessed the police this particular woman putting uh, her knee into the, uh, the, the offender's head. That's when the officer objected aggressively to Mr Tomei and a colleague filming them. It's, it's a serious threat. It was a threat of violence, a threat to break my property, uh, and then a, a shove and, and um, some foul language. By law, any member of the public is entitled to film in a public place, police arrest or not. Officers only backed off when the cameraman produced media identification. Police can request people not to film them, but they have got no right to demand it, and they certainly have no right to push people who are filming them to threaten to break their cameras or their phones, uh, or to even look at the material that has been recorded. The police legal service has warned its officers that the widespread use of mobile phone camera technology will see them filmed increasingly often by members of the public, that it's not illegal and it's something they must be aware of. A local commander says the police officer has been counselled over the incident. Myself and the officer acknowledge that it could have been handled better um, and uh, the matter has been dealt with at a local level. The offender has been charged with resisting arrest and offensive behaviour.